So what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're in the barn. We're in our old 100 year old barn. This is a project that we started on last year and that we're gonna pick up, start picking back up slowly but surely, um, start picking back up because this is something that we will eventually want to turn into a big old event center. You know, this is a, it's a pretty big barn and it's really, you know, you look at the ceilings and stuff, it has a lot, a lot of potential in here. And we want to eventually turn it into uh, an event center, which would be really pretty awesome. But a couple things. Well, as you can see, still, you know, pretty full in here. Um, I took out the whole entire hayloft last year, which that was a project in and of itself. But now what we're going to do is we're just going to try and clear out as much of this as we can we have a lot a lot a lot of old barn wood that we still need to clear out you know this we might keep gates like this because this is kind of cool um but we want to clear a lot of this out and it's not because of the event center yet it's because of what happened last february uh and that crazy 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 uh snowpocalypse and i'm just gonna act as if that's what's gonna happen every year because we weren't prepared for that um Everybody made it through just fine. We didn't lose any animals. It was just, it was a struggle for a week. But I'm gonna prepare like that is, I'm gonna prepare like that's what's gonna happen every winter. That way we're not unprepared. And what's gonna happen this year is that we're gonna start calving. Um, we, we turned Jordan in when we first got him, but he was young, he couldn't, he was small, he couldn't reach the, the older girls. Um, but you know, right around May, of last year is when I saw it start to happen. I saw, you know, Jordan start to do his thing. Um, so we should be having calves. I know one is due, Yoli is due like the first or second week of February. So first or second week of February puts that little calf in the middle, basically in the middle of the snow apocalypse, a couple days before the snow apocalypse starts. And we don't want that to happen because if that calf is, you know, out there in the elements, um, when that's going on, I, that, that's tough. That, I mean, for a first calf heifer, it's a lot of stress to put on her and the calf. I'm not going to do that. It just so happened that's the timing, how the timing worked out that Jordan, you know, started doing his thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to clear this out. That way, if that happens again, we'll be able to move them in here. Now, I know that's not the ideal situation and not the ideal timing to start capping, especially for the first time. But we're just going to put them in the best position possible. And I think that would be moving them in here or giving them the opportunity to come in here. If it gets down to, you know, like it did, it felt like negative 12. That's just too cold, especially for here. That's just, they're not used to that. I'm not used to that. Nobody's used to that. That's just insane. Now, the next time around, what we're going to do is we're going to pull um, the bulls out of the herd. And uh, then we'll, we'll be able to kind of time our calving a lot, you know, a lot better. That way we're not having to deal with winter calves. Um, this year, you know, things just happen. That's the way we're gonna have to do it. We'll deal with it, we'll be fine. We'll make sure the animals are all fine, but we just don't want that to happen again. But in order for them to be able to do this, but in order for them to be able to come in here, I gotta get up all this wood. I gotta get up all this wood, all this junk, all this trash that was left. Um, and we're gonna go we're gonna use this actually this is gonna be some of our next projects because i'm gonna be building some stuff with this i actually already built the desk i don't think i showed you guys yet um one of, i built the desk for myself out of the barn wood and it came out came out really cool so i think we're gonna make some more furniture with it just build some stuff with it um and some future plans stuff for some future plans so no this isn't gonna go to waste it's not gonna we're not gonna burn it this stuff is super valuable especially right now with the the price of lumber and you know how cool this is so we're gonna use it to build stuff and uh i'll show you guys that along, along the way if you guys want to see that just get this stuff moved out of here that way the animals can use it if they have to i don't think that they will have to but who knows Stuff's really nice, but it's got nails in it. And as you can see, this is where we're putting it. And this is not, this is not nearly all of it either. This is just one of the outbuildings that we have that uh, was empty that we can store this stuff for now. So, it, you know, maintain, I mean, look, look at some of these boards. Look at this. I mean, you can't, you can't buy this stuff. Or if you do right now, that's going to be... 
I don't even want to guess how much it is. But this is just really nice. I mean, we got everything from, these are like true two by sixes here, and there's a ton of those because that's what was holding up the holding up the loft. And then we have all these planks here that, you know, look at that. Look how long that is. It's got to be 12 feet. Some of them, there's a few in here, like that one going across. It's got to be, it's probably 18 feet long. So we're going to definitely make some really cool stuff out of this and, uh, you know, use it. You know the BB King has seen it all In the Nola to Carnegie Hall And that's a long, long way from Mississippi And it was Presley show that he could take us From Tupelo to Viva Las Vegas That's a long... Well, check it out. This side is about... Yeah, this side's about done. The trash over there in the corner, um, I'm not gonna, I need a shovel for that. I'm not gonna get a, I'm not gonna do that without a respirator on. So we're gonna get, we're gonna do this half. Uh, leave, well, well, we're gonna start on it today and uh, hopefully get it done in the next day or two. See, what, what I'm going off of is, see the IBC toad out there? I've been filling that up while I've been doing this because multitasking, right? So I said, I'm going to do this until the IBC tote fills all the way up. And it's not filled all the way up yet. So we're about halfway done. I mean, this is, uh, this is looking pretty good. This is looking, this is looking pretty good. We've got to figure out what we're going to do here. What we're probably going to do is because this does have some sort of uh, brace on it. Um, we're going to drill. Um, we're going to bolt this down. We're going to bolt that into there. And then we're going to cut this right here. Um, that way we can take this metal middle section off because then it's not any there's no load bearing the only place it's load bearing is over there so that's a project for a different time this will probably stay in here until uh until we're ready to actually start you know pouring cement and getting this thing um really up and running but this here besides the trash in the corner like over here with some bedding down um this will be good enough for the cows if that if an extreme weather event happens and this should be more than good enough for them because i mean it's legitimately like warm in here um it's windy windy as can be outside i don't know if you guys can hear it but it you know you don't feel it anything in here you don't feel any kind of cold this will really help um uh, this will really help them out if something bad happens and check this out too where i keep the wood where i keep the wood in that out building out there i was filling up the cow's water the other day and one of the things that has been on the list that we need um for the farm is a barn cat because you know every farm needs a barn cat especially when we do chickens next year we're gonna have a lot of grain on the um we're gonna have a lot of grain on the farm we don't want mice and rats and stuff getting into it so the best way to protect against that is a barn cat well I, well when i was in when i was filling up the the water there's a window and next thing you know i see some movement in that outbuilding i'm going what the heck was that you know there's nothing that's supposed to be in there i go kind of peek in okay you know it's not a cow it's the llamas are right next to me I'm going okay wait a second longer sure enough i'll post a picture right now <laughs> we have a little uh you know stray barn cat that is uh that's kind of hanging out over over here and in that outbuilding so i don't know i think that's kind of cool and you see i've been leaving now you have to clean this up a lot see in the she, it he or she ate it i'm um, leaving some cat food out that way it wants to stick around and if it wants to stick around great because i am not a cat person i am not a cat person at all cats legitimately hate me why because i have five dogs there's been like two one or two cats that i've been around that has done you know has tolerated me every, uh, every other one of them man they just can't stand me they might love everybody else me no but if we can keep a barn cat in here, out of the elements, all nice, safe, and warm, um, that's a good thing. That way, we don't have to go get a cat. Because if we were to get a cat here, my eyes, they'd be gouged out. They, those things hate me. They hate me. Absolutely hate me. But now we just have at least this side to go, um, which is not that, it's not as bad. Um, this is all just leftover junk from previous owners or whatever. Um, this is not as bad as the other side. I do have to work on getting this last uh, I think these are called mangers out 
and uh, this this thing here I was able to pop off everything else but this gate here was on the um, was on this frame and this frame is really 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 built in there it's built differently too it's like out of I don't know if this is cedar I don't know what it is but whenever I hit it with the sledgehammer it just it it gave enough to where it just didn't want to come out then this here is a uh, one of the other projects I threw some of the barn wood that I actually had to take out through these holes here and I left it over here and there's just you know there's just trash there's just junk there's there's some roofing material in here um, that I want to get out of here but I just I really want to get it to where it looks like this side here see oh what's up Yoli hey baby you scare you huh you a good girl you're a good girl but I want to get it to look like this side here because this could be an office, this could be a, a film studio, this could be something. And here, I don't know, this is, I don't know, I think it's just cool. We can use this definitely for something. If it, it might just be for the sound equipment when we have like a DJ all set up here. It might be just storage or whatever, but you know, we can do something with this place. There's so much potential here that give it, give it a little bit of time, give it some time. And this here is going to be looking really really nice really nice you know you see a couple times a year wouldn't it be cool to throw a band in here have a farm to table dinner have it all real real up to the nines just done just create an experience for everybody with and have them eat food that you know was grown here we can do chicken we can do beef we might even do we might we're, we're looking at some pigs i'm looking at getting into some pigs possibly next year um we'll see about that but this would be just really this would just be really nice to do. Now I know some of you will say, oh, why don't you just use it for, as a barn like it's supposed to? Because, I mean, it is a barn. And the answer is, because this building is useless. Except in like extreme situations like, you know, when it's like negative 12 out, um, this building is completely useless. There's, I'm not gonna keep animals in here. If I kept animals in here, I mean, look, look at what happened when you keep animals in here. Look at what the soil turns into. Or, I don't know what kind of bedding that is, but I mean, then that's not very healthy. That's why I'm gonna put down a pretty thick layer if we have to move in here. Um, I don't think I can get a, a round mill in here, but uh, I did buy quite a few uh, little square bales that I can go and kind of make a bedding pack that way. You know, they're just not on, they're not, they're not on this stuff, because if I were to keep them in here year round or even during this time where I have them locked up, this is just a breeding ground for disease. This is just because there's, I mean, the sunlight does get in here, but it's just not good for animals. This is good for humans. This is great for humans, especially when it's completely all done. But animals? No, a barn is the most waste, one of the most useless things that you can have on a farm. Especially when you're doing stuff like us. I mean, we're never, we're never gonna use this. We'll use it, we'll probably use it five times in the entire history of me living here if we were just to, if we were to keep it for uh, animals not worth it we can go build something else we can use this you know this is incredible building here this is this is done right this is not you know this is not cheap this is not this is not cheaply done this is this was done right i mean this is solid as can be a hundred years later i mean this is just this is just cool and we can use this to you know as an agro tourism kind of thing and get people on the farm and see what we're doing here and experience hey you know what let's have a let's have some sort of party inside the barn long, long way from Mississippi. that river runs deep and wide that river runs black and white that river runs day and night Long, long way from Mississippi. You know, Nick and Keith came with a stone, packed up chess records, and took them back home. That's a long way. Well, the cows water just filled up, and we got we got quite a bit done. You got this side, besides the that uh, little bit of trash in the corner, cleared out. And we have this 50% uh, done from what it was. So we're getting there. 
This project really excites me because this opens the door for us to do so much here. I mean, I've been wanting to do a YouTube meetup with everybody in the area. I mean, we could do it at the house, but the house is just not big enough, especially if we get a couple other channels involved. But this here, you know, once we get this this thing out, this thing cleared up, you know, some flooring done, pressure washing, we're not far off. We're really not far off at all. Realistically, to clean this thing out, it's probably about another two, maybe three days worth of work. Pressure washing, getting uh, um, a bid on uh, some some concrete in here, seeing when they can do that, because we want to get the concrete to where it's like level with, see that over there? See how they had to prop it back up with the brick? We want that level. We want that level just so it looks nice and everything. So we might have to do a load of gravel, but that's that's springtime. That's uh yeah, that's about springtime when uh, we'll look into maybe doing something in here. But because for winter we want to have this ready to go to where if any of them calve and it gets bad, we can bring you know one, two, three of them in here and they can get out of the the weather and they can be just a lot more comfortable. So as you can see that we have some pretty big stuff planned. If you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button down below so you can follow what this turns into, what this place it turns into. And, and hopefully in about another week or so, we have another big announcement that changes the farm significantly, we'll call it that. So again, hit that subscribe button down below, ring the notification bell so you get notified when we put up new videos. Hit the like to help, uh, it helps with the YouTube algorithm a lot. And especially, you know, we're getting a lot more likes on the videos and I really wanna thank you guys for that. You see, we're actually getting a lot more likes on the videos than, than normal, because normal wise is about 10% of the views like it, or right around 15, 20%. And that tells YouTube, hey, the, this, this content's good and we're gonna push it out farther so it helps the channel. And we really do appreciate that, all right? Till next time, see ya, bye. What do you guys want? I don't know how they do that, but they always hollow out the middle first. That one to the extreme right there where Little Man is, it's funny.